What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Skeleton Joe Show. That was for Alyssa. <laughs> this is uh, Joe. He's not a skeleton, but this is his show. No. <laughs> um, Alyssa's going to love us. Yeah. Uh, so, we. Uh, this is a continuation of our Vegas series. Yeah. And we went to. Um, do you, which one do we talk about first? We'll do. Well, we went to two. First? We went to two museums. We went to Tom Devlin's Monster Museum and Zach Baggins' Haunted Museum. Yes. Well, we'll talk about Tom Devlin's first because it's short, and then we'll talk about uh, Zach Baggins after that. Yes. Um. So Tom Devlin's. Uh, do you remember the cost? It was like fifteen dollars per person for the ticket, which, for what it was, it wasn't bad. Yeah. We had to drive thirty minutes. To Boulder City. It was either 30 minutes or 30 miles, because that's what it says on the back of the promo. Uh, it does not say on the back of the promo, but whatever. Yeah, so Boulder City, which that's, isn't far. That's this. Now, we ignore all of the May 12th and all that. That's something specifically for that. We went on Sunday? Yeah, we went on Sunday. So we went on Sunday. But um, it was cool. Uh, they had uh, like a, a hearse outside with painted and all that yeah, and everything. Two different hearses. Yeah. Um, so. Outside, um, they had two hearses. They had some cool motorcycles that were all painted up. Yeah. Um, they had uh, Frankenstein outside with like a dollar bill acceptor, which we didn't do. Yeah. It was a T-Rex type thing. Yeah, a little T-Rex uh, up on the... the, the Porch. They yeah. had zombie Captain America. Zombie, zombie, zombie Captain America. They had a cutout thing where you can put your face in like a cutout of a um, Return of the Living Dead. Holy crap! Um, but it was against the building, so we couldn't take pictures with our faces. Yeah. Um, so you walk inside. Um, it's the, to the left. There's a very, very small arcade. Couple uh, cabinets. Um, there's a mirror that you can take pictures and uh, claw machines, popcorn machine, and what? Why are you laughing? I'm just letting you. Um, on the opposite side, there they have a lot of merch, um, masks, t-shirts, uh, uh, Herman Monster. Um, I I wouldn't I would say one to one scale, but he's a little short. And then there's a. It's like under like an awning and a doorway, which to the left there was uh, a cutout of Elvira in the window, which Joe got a picture with. And on the right there was Pennywise, which I got a picture with. Uh, now you go. So he said all of that, but I took a video of the whole thing, so I'm going to put that here. <laughs> um, um, sorry, cat. Uh, yeah, they had like a ton of stuff for sale, like pins and stuff. There was a couple of pins I wanted, but it, it didn't end up getting just because I think uh, like when I went to go buy them, there was like a ton of people waiting in line, and like yeah. there was only one we, person working. Everywhere we went, it was the perfect time. Like everywhere and, we went, there was like no lines. And oh then yeah. When we got yeah. there, people started lining up. So um, you could take pictures and video in the museum. But no flash photography. But, but no flash, which was cool. Um, kind of short, but $15 was, wasn't that bad. And there's a lot of information, because they, yeah. they had, like, actors, but then, like, their biography and stuff. Yeah. And they had, like, um, like death masks, kind of, on the wall. Yeah. But, uh, and then they had, like, one-to-one -one scale busts. 
of different movies and stuff like that. Now, this is when I found out who Tom Devlin actually was. He is a makeup artist, but actually in movies, which I had no idea, like Poultry Geist, which is a Lloyd Kaufman movie, he did makeup for that, and some other makeups from other movies I can't remember right now, but... Are you leaving, okay? I was pretty blown away that I didn't know about him and then all of a sudden knew about him, yeah. which was really, really cool. Um, so it was, it was good to, to go. So if you don't know he, who he is, but you're interested in like horror and even makeup, go. Out, but yeah. it, even if you do know who he is, go. You can schedule a tour with him, correct? I think... I want to say you did, but I forget. I, I think there was just no availability when we went. Yeah, you said there was no availability in May. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. But I don't remember the if, uh, the price for his. So if anyone knows, put that down. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um. So, short, short and sweet. Yep. Um. Now we're gonna talk about Zach Baggins Haunted Museum. Yeah. So we got R.I.P. All access ticket. Which was cool. Um, it, it was kind of expensive being like, what was it, like 80 yeah, per person? $50 regular or 80 for the RIP, which grants you six extra like small little exhibits. And you also get a free t-shirt and you get the laminate. Yeah, which was cool. And so I'd say it's worth it. Yeah. Um, and we did this our second day in Vegas. Yes. For Friday. Yeah, so... I will say now, if you are if you want to go, reserve. Make a, yeah, make a reservation. Because we wait, we waited a good amount of time, but not long enough to where it was like complaining. Yeah, especially once COVID is over. They said um, before COVID happened, the line would be like almost around the block. Yeah. Um, we had a, a short wait, and they also had it. So if you were vaccinated and you proved it. It would give you a wristband so you didn't have to wear a mask. Yeah. And the person behind the outdoor table doing tickets and stuff, her name was Jill, and she was great. So she, friendly. She was bubbly and all that. She was really, really cool. Um, but they're prepared for Las Vegas weather. They In their lines, they had misters, which was, like, really, really good. Yeah. Um, but once we, once you get in, there's, like, a lobby with bathrooms and uh, where you pay. Yeah, you're allowed to take pictures that, in the lobby. That's your last time to go to the bathroom. They don't stop the tour for anyone that has to go to the bathroom, yeah. so and keep that in mind. a good hour and a half, two hour tour. Yeah, and um, 
you turn your cameras or your phones off when you go inside. Yeah, you're not allowed any electronics be uh, to be on. And that's because they have EMF readers, uh, video, and stuff like that, and they don't want it to mess with like the frequency or just the um, electronics themselves. Yeah. So they said even on airplane mode, it can mess it up. So they just ask you to turn your phone off. Um, I'm not. We're not going to talk about too much about the 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 tour because we want you guys to go and support the support them. Yeah. Um, it was just fantastic. We, we learned about like uh, actual curses, actual things that were just haunted, different like old things. Yeah. Um, um, they had a lot of sc uh, screen used stuff from movies, um, which I didn't even like. I didn't know what we were getting into, yeah. and it's in a h old museum, which was cool, or uh, old mansion, which is cool. Um, they 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 did a couple jump scares. Yeah. It was uh, really cool. Yeah. And, like, the people that did our tours, knowledgeable. Do you, they, 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 they knew their stuff. Do you remember the names? I remember Craig. Craig was good. Craig got me. He made me jump. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I, I, was, I, was, I, I was like, Craig. Yeah, and... Uh, what was the girl's name, the one at the, at the end? I don't remember. I don't remember if she introduced what, herself. What was the adjective that we used it for her? She, she was she was great. She was yeah. like had a personality where she was just all over the place. She was definitely built for the section that she did. Yeah, which is and, and we, she yeah. also made us jump with the open. Oh, the the bookcase. Yeah, yeah. Um, they had a section for serial killers. Um, like actual movie props. Word of warning: they have a section on clowns. Yes. Oh, that's another thing. Any time that they thought somebody was gonna have. Um, not like it, be uncomfortable. They warned them, yeah, they had you before you go into that section, which people don't say enough, but people appreciate that, mm -hmm. you know. And but, like the the clown, oh, they didn't say anything about the clown part, but like, I don't like dolls, and that's the first thing we did was go into a closet full of dolls. Only the R.I.P. did. Yeah, which, which is, I was like, I I paid for this, I'm doing it. Yeah. And you don't regret it. No, I don't. I, I had no regrets with that. I'm going to buy him a doll now. Yeah? Don't, no, no, no. I know what you're going to say. Don't do it. Is he going to be from Japan? I don't know. What did you think? Oh. I thought you were going to come at my fear. No. Not at all. <laughs> um. Not at all. Um, it was a lot of fun. I will warn that the gift shop was expensive. Yes. Uh, Joe had a rule on this trip. Don't let him buy any t-shirts. So naturally, we tried to get him to buy a t-shirt somewhere else, which was like a $22 t-shirt. Joe, why don't you show off a t-shirt you got? And tell them how much it cost. So here's the front. HM for uh, Haunted ha Museum. Howard Manfredini. <laughs> yeah. Huh. And then here's the back. I'm pretty sure this was like a forty dollar T shirt. It was. And uh, And then, then this T shirt that he's gonna show off is what you got with the RIP yeah. uh access. So Zach Baggins Haunted Museum. There's nothing on the back. Uh it has established uh I wanna say it's two thousand six. I don't know where I'm gonna go that well. And it, it was in downtown Las Vegas. Every, like, pretty much everything we wanted to do was, was close proximity to the hotel that we stayed at. Yeah. Um, this is the pa patch I got, which was $15. 2016. So, but that's a pretty cool patch. I'm definitely going to put that on my uh, on my vest where one fell off. Got perfect, perfect space for it. <laughs> the cat flopped. Yeah, the cat's over there playing with something. Um, I really enjoyed the museum. The museum uh, was great. I would recommend that to everyone. Did you, do we want to talk about the, what we possibly heard from the spirit box? Oh yeah. So they, we didn't hear you in the spirit box. They had actual equipment, um, going and it was just going, but, um, there was a basement, basement? Yeah. that we were going down into and there was a spirit box. Now, if you know the band spirit box, has nothing to do with them. If you know 
um, they're in Watcher now, but BuzzFeed was uh, Unsolved, which is uh, Shane and Ryan. You would know a lot. Oh, yeah. Because Sh- Shane, Shane hates Madea. it. Shane loves it. Shane hates it. <laughs> um, anyways, um, we, we walked down there, and it's in a basement. That's, they had ambient light, so it was felt like it was a mood. Uh, you? Yeah, I was like, man, it's dark down here. And then, I think, a, a, couple, a couple seconds, maybe a minute at the most, you heard the spirit box say, yes. Now, take that into interpretation as you want, because people say that one-syllable words aren't anything, because it's radio signals that are just being thrown all over the place. But stuff that's like more than one, that's t- that has a full sentence might be spiritual or haunting or this that and the third but it was pretty eerie yeah and then there was a doll that um oh peggy yeah we were told when we walk into the room say hi peggy and when we leave say bye peggy otherwise you know it could be disrespectful and the, so, like the, the you'll the spirit you, you'll get in a car accident or something like that but we all everyone said bye or whatever yeah and we, we were, were the last ones out we we walked a few feet and then the spirit box just said bye, which I thought was pretty weird. Yeah, it might be co- coincidental, but if not, yeah, pretty cool. And that's it for the museum part of our trip. Yeah, um, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed both. Yeah, I recommend the haunted museum over Tom Devlin's, but I recommend them both e- not equally, but you know. Yeah, in general, like you'd still recommend both. Yeah. Um, a lot of cool stuff in both. Absolutely. Um...